ಶ್ರೀಮಾನ್ ವೆಂಕಟನಾಥಾರ್ಯ ಕವಿತಾರ್ಕೇಸರಿ ವೇದಾಂತಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಬರಿಯೋ ಮೇ ಸನ್ನಿಧತ್ತ ಸದಾ ಹೃದಯ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಅನುಭವ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಯಮುನಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಚತುಶ್ಲೋಕಿ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ದ ಎಟ್ ಅನದರ್ ಬ್ರಿಲಿಯಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಯಮುನಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಬೈ ನೇಮ್ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ರತ್ನ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ತ್ರೀ ರತ್ನಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ರತ್ನ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ದ್ವಯ ಮಂತ್ರ ಅನದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಪುರಾಣ ರತ್ನ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪುರಾಣ ಆಫ್ ಸೇಜ್ ಪರಾಸರ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ತರ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ರತ್ನ ವಿಚ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಳವಂದಾರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಯಮುನಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯಮುನಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲಿ ಪ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ದ ವೇದಾಂತ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೀಸ್ ಹೀ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ರಾಮಾನುಜ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೀ ಈಸ್ ದ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸನ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀಮನ್ ನಾಥಮುನಿ ಸೊ ವೈಲ್ ಕಾಂಟೆಂಪ್ಲೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ದೇಸಿಗನ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಶ್ರೀಮನ್ ನಾಥಮುನಿ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಯಾಮುನ ಮುನಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ರಾಮಾನುಜ ಮುನಿ ಅಮಾಂಗ್ ದೆಮ್ ಶ್ರೀಮನ್ ನಾಥಮುನಿ ಈಸ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಟು ಬಿ ದ ದರ್ಶನ ದರ್ಶನ ಸ್ಥಾಪನಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೇದಾಂತ ದೇಸಿಕ ಇನ್ ತತ್ವಮುಕ್ತ ಕಲಾಪ ಸೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ನಾಥಮುನಿ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಟು ಪ್ರಾಪಗೇಟ್ ದ ಐಡಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿಶಿಷ್ಟಾದ್ವೈತ ನಾಥಮುನಿ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಆಫ್ ಉಭಯ ವೇದಾಂತ ಬೋತ್ ಸಾಂಸ್ಕ್ರಿಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ತಮಿಳ್ ವೇದ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ವಾಸ್ ದ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಯಮುನಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಹೂ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ಟೀಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಮಾನುಜ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯಮುನಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಲಿವ್ಡ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ದ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ನೈನ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಆರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಾಮಾನುಜ ಕುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಗೆಟ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ದರ್ಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಯಮುನಾಚಾರ್ಯ in his lifetime almost all works of yamunacharya and ramanuja are ek are still available fortunately for us and the credit for preserving the works of yamunacharya and ramanuja acharya of course goes to vedanta desika but the purusha nirnaya of yamunacharya mentioned by vedanta desika has has not been found now has become extinct at present it looks like shriman nathamuni Uh, had composed two works namely nyaya tattvam and yoga ragasyam and they are not available now swami desikan in his nyaya siddhanjanam and nyaya parisuddhi quotes profusely from nyaya tattvam and we don't have now but it is the it seems it is it was the most comprehensive treatise on the philosophy of vishishta advaitam but that's now extinct is a great pity for us of course nathamuni had the shishya pundarika pundarika acha and ramameshwara and then follows yamunacharya in our acharya paramparai in our guru parampara slogam ennu irthand alithavarai sharanam pukku yan adaive avar gurukkal nirai vanangi pin arulal perumbudur vandavallal ramanujar periya nambi aala vandar manakkal nambi ಮಣಕ್ಕಾಲ್ ನಂಬಿ ರಾಮಮಿಶ್ರ ಪೆರಿಯ ನಂಬಿ ಆಳ ಬಂದಾರ್ ಮಣಕ್ಕಾಲ್ ನಂಬಿ ನನ್ನೆರಿಯೈ ಅವರ್ ಕುರೈತ ಉಯ್ಯಕ್ಕೊಂಡಾರ್ ಪುಂಡರೀಕಾಕ್ಷ ನಾಥಮುನಿ ಷಡಗೋಪನ್ ಶೇನೈನಾಥನ್ ಇನ್ನ ಮುದ ತಿರುಮಗಳೆಂದ್ರೆ ಇವರೈ ಮುನ್ನಿಟ್ಟು ಎಂಪೆರುಮಾನ್ ತ್ರಿವಡಿಗಳೈ ಅಡೈಗಿಂದ್ರೇನೆ ಈಸ್ ಅ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರಾ ಶ್ಲೋಕಂ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ವಿ ಡ್ವೆಲ್ ಡ್ವೆಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಮರ್ಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ರತ್ನ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಪ್ರಿಲ್ಯೂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ರತ್ನ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ರತ್ನ ಕನ್ಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಐ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಟ್ರೈಬ್ಯೂಟ್ ಟು ಶ್ರೀಮನ್ ನಾರಾಯಣನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಷ್ಟಾಕ್ಷರಂ ದ್ವಯಂ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಚರ್ಮ ಶ್ಲೋಕಂ ಅಷ್ಟಾಕ್ಷರಂ ಏಟ್ ದ್ವಯಂ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಚರ್ಮ ಶ್ಲೋಕಂ ತರ್ಟಿ ಟು ಸಿಲೆಬಲ್ಸ್ so total 65 so stotra ratnam is considered to be the essence of ragasya treya saram or it is the ragasya treya saram there is no there is no kavyam that moves one's heart as shrimad ramayanam its trad
says however stotra ratnam has been considered by our purvacharyas of our sampradayam as the stotram that is matchless that is unparalleled in moving our heart it's a soul stirring verses it's got profound vedantic principles and it is a it it's it's a, it, it exactly clarifies all our doubts and frequently asked questions that it we might have in our mind it's a great lesson in the stages that one has to go through to perform prapati and to become free of our any fear or apprehensions about samsaric afflictions and there is an anecdote that ramanuja had heard trikachi nambi mentioning one of the shlokas of stotra ratnam kasri shriya about which we will come to it later in this series and he listened to that shlokam and of course ramanuja was a great scholar sanskrit scholar and he could immediately pick up the the inner essence of that shlokam and he wondered and he was simply awestruck at the depth of that shlokam and the vedantic concept of the shlokam and unambiguous declaration from that shlokam and so he immediately asked who composed this swami he was asking trikachinambi during the conversation such a wonderful shlokam that's when he heard about yamuna acharya and he was longing to have the darshan of yamuna acharya at when trikachinambi later elaborated on yamuna acharya's greatness this stotra ratnam starts and ends in the traditional way of acharya salutation as we know rama Ra, and uh, our alavandas acharya was manakkal nambi manakkal nambi acharya was uyakondar pundari kaksha manakkal nambi also called as rama mishra so yamuna acharya rama mishra pundari kaksha shriman nathamuni that's the acharya sambandham and nathamuni had the acharyan shatakopa or namalwar now swami yamuna starts with the salutation to his acharya and then moves on to praise shriman narayana so he becomes completely finds that he is lack of his qualifications for praising shriman narayana and yet he wants to praise shriman narayana and so he talks about his lack of qualification or his he laments over his lack of qualification or the inadequacies and performs akinchana sharanagati at the lotus feet of the lord he then comforts himself by reflecting that a small upayam such as sharanagati can definitely yield major auspicious benefits and his goal in performing sharanagati is to do nitya kaikaryam blemishless faultless kaikaryam ஒழிவில் காலமெல்லாம் உடனாய் மண்ணி வழிவிலா அடிமை செய்ய வேண்டும் நாம் என் ஸ்ரீ வைகுண்டம் ஹி ரெகனைசஸ் தட் த பாப்பம்ஸ் தட் ஹி ஹஸ் அக்யூமுலேட்டட் ஈஸ் அப்ஸ்ட்ரக்டிங் த ப்ராக்ரஸ் இன் த அட்டைன்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் ஹிஸ் ஹிஸ் பர்டிகுலர் டெஸ்டினேஷன் ஹி ஸ்டேட்ஸ் தட் ஹவ் அவர் ஹி இஸ் நாட் டிஸ்கரேஜ்ட் பிகாஸ் ஹி இஸ் கம்ப்ளீட்லி அவேர் ஆஃப் த தயை த பரம காருணிகோ பகவான் ஹி இஸ் அவேர் அண்ட் ஹி அப்பீல்ஸ் வெரி மூவிங்லி அண்ட் pouring out his heart to the lord to strengthen his sharanagati efforts and to protect him from the obstacles that stand in the way to realize the goal and one one can simply cry reading and reciting these verses especially when we know the meaning he goes on to the next step of the prayer where he completely begs the lord to grow his bhakti which he was pretending to have towards him and to bless him to live with bhagavatas and to live in a state of complete um, what would i say karpanyam or regret or remorse devoid of egotistic thoughts he pleads with the lord for acharya sambandham to realize the fruits of his sharanagati and he declares his complete unconditional faith vishwasam bha vishwasam in the lord's chama and anukampa to bless him with the fruits of sharanagati and acharya De- uh, swami desikan as well as 
Periyavacha and Pillaik have commented on this wonderful Stotra Ratna and we will enjoy the, their Anubhavams during the during this series. However, they say that this Stotram, the meaning of Dvaya Mantram is completely very nicely impregnated into this Stotra Ratnam. And in the previous work, Chatasloki, our Acharya has made his rec, his Purushakara Prapati, Sharnagati to Sri Devi, Mahalakshmi, Piriyapirati. And thereafter, now when he as he starts to commences to perform Sharnagati at the lotus feet of the Lord Sriman Narayana, Sriyapati, he completes the Guru Parampara Anushandhanam as a first prelude or an introduction. He elaborates next on the meaning of Narayana Shabdam and then he follows the Dvayam and completes the Sharanagadi at the lotus feet of Sriman Narayana. And the slokams of Stotra Ratna can be thus, they can be considered as the essence or the full meaning of the wonderful sweet Dvaya Mantra. So we have two Tanians of uh, this Stotra Ratnam. One is Swadayan Niha Sarvesham Trayantartam Sudurgraham Stotrayamasa Yogi Indraha Tamande Yamuna Payam Swadayan Niha Sarvesham Trayantartam Sudurgraham Stotrayamasa Yogi Indraha Tamande Yamuna Payam. My our salutations to Yamunai Turaivan Yamuna Muni also called as Alavanda, the pre-eminent among the yogis. Swadayanigasa Sarvantartam Sudurgraham Stotrayamasa Yogindraha. He is Yogindran. He is the chief among yogis for blessing us with the gem among the Stotrams, which is Stotra Ratna. He gave us this, this praise, this Stotram, so that we all can enjoy the sweet twist of, taste of the meaning of the Vedanta. We all can immerse ourselves in, into the Vedanta Anubhavam, which is extremely very difficult to comprehend otherwise on our own. On, um, so, through this slokam, he subtly places the Vedantic concepts in, a, in an easier to comprehend manner. And our Paramakarunika Acharyas have explained in a beautiful Anubhavam and the extensive commentaries which facilitate us to understand the heavily loaded, beautiful, uh, yet tough stotrams, these slokas of this 65 verses. It's, it's a wonderful composition and I cannot wait to take up these verses one after the other. It's, um, I would have continued for six, all the 65 verses in one stroke, but you would simply switch off the, uh, the clip and you would take rest otherwise. So the other Taniyan which we have is Namo Namo Yamunaya, Yamunaya Namo Namaha, Namo Namo Yamunaya, Yamunaya Namo Namaha. There are very many Namaha Shabdam in this wonderful invocatory verse in this Taniyan. Each of the Namaha has got its own respective meaning. The five meanings of the Namaha Shabdam here are my Manas, my Vachikam, my Kaikam, the mind, speech and the body. Mano, Vak, Kayam. These are having Namaskarams to Yamunamani. Through Manas, through, through the speech and through the body, our Namaskarams to Yamunamani, Alavanda. In addition to the three Namaskarams. I salute, I bow down, I prostrate at Yamunamani in Paramapadam, Sri Kuntam, for making it possible for us to reap the benefits of my Sharanagati. May the fruits of these Namaskarams not belong to me, but belong to him as the master, as the Seshi. And before focusing on the individual slokam of this magnificent stotram by Alavandar, it may be interesting to study the Swami Desikan's analysis of the, of the architect, architect of the Stotram. The way the Stotram is structured, the way the Stotram is developed, the way the Stotram 
has gone from 1 to 65 each step by step one needs to enjoy and only Acharya Sarvabhauma and Swami Desikam can come out with this wonderful uh, structure and how ya Acharya Alavandar Yamuna Acharya has come out with this structure. So he says, the, his analysis says, it's a grouping of thoughts. The slokam 1 to 5, Yamuna salutes the Acharyas. He bows down to Acharyas who opened this, the inner eye, the spiritual eye through number 1 to number 5 verses and particularly his grandfather, Sriman Nathamuni or Ranganathamuni. Number 2, he begins the Stotram in Sloka 6. And number 3, the, the Paratvam of the Lord is hinted and his insufficiency or inadequacy of Alavandar to tackle the profound depth or deep subject of Paratvam is indicated in Sloka 7. And 8 and 9th Sloka talk about the Saulabhyam of the Lord. Paratvam kandi agalamaik saulabhyam. Saulabhyam kandi igalamaik paratvam. So one should not go away looking at the paratvam and be scared. So they should look at saulabhyam. And one should not feel that and think that he is so lowly. And hence we can do whatever that we want. We should be scared to approach him uh, with trepidations and fear with with uh, some some bhayam so we should approach him that he is the master he is the supreme as well as he is so easily accessible to us so paratvam saulabhyam combination are the right balance one needs to have sloka 8 and 9 talk about saulabhyam sloka 10 to 21 talk about the extensive elaboration of narayana shabda and sloka 22 he performs sharanagati Na dharma nishtosmi na chatma vedi na bhakti mantras charanara vinde akinchanaha ananyagati ki charanya turpada molam charanam prapadhye. In sloka 23 to 27, he declares his appropriateness for the performing a performance of his prapati. In 28 to 29, he states that he has a, a simple prapati has a largely disproportionate dividends. Wonderful. So, one kalam, pala kalam, aru payan yanave kanda arulala di yanai mer kuri anar guna varai. So, aru payan is one kalam, pala kalam. Little performance of prabati yields tremendous benefits of the palan. Then, thirty to forty-six talk about uttara kantam of dvayam, which deals with the fruits of prabati. Then, forty-seven talks about his regret because of due to the lack of his intensity to pursue the fruits of prabhati by following the appropriate upaya. So nirvedam over his missed opportunities so long he has not been following. Then Mahavishwasam in 48 to 51st verse. Then Bharasamarpanam is 52 to 53. Prayer to give strength to observe the code of conduct after post prapati post prapati life and to be with the satsangam he is from 54 to 57 58 to 63 he talks about the perimal's karunyam the sambandham or bandhutvam with perimal as the hope for his prapati that it would yield benefits then 64 he says reminding reminding him of his sharanagata rakshanam and his vratam that he would save his Sharnagatas, 64. Then 65, of course, statement on the glories of Acharya Sambandha and for successful prapati and the inclusion of his fearlessness, complete nirbharo nirbhayosmi as a result of performing prapati, even if he does not have the qualification on his own because of the Acharya Sambandha, because he has already performed prapati, he should not be worried and with that Naichanu Santanam he completes the Stotra Ratnam. We will enjoy the Stotra Ratnam tomorrow. The first sloka. Kavitar Kikasimaya Kalyana Gunasharine Srimate Venkateshaya Vedanta Gurave Namaha Namonarayana.